The objective is to determine which of the following pieces of equipment, the 50 milliliter beaker, 10 milliliter graduated cylinder, and 50 milliliter burette is the most accurate and which is the most precise at measuring out 10.0 milliliters of water. The other objective is to understand the limitations through learning the significance of percent error, percent RSD, gross error, and systematic determinant errors. Safety. Safety glasses or goggles, lab coat, and closed-toed shoes will be used. Gloves are optional since distilled water will be the only substance used. For this experiment, you will need a balance and thermometer, a 50 milliliter burette, a 10 milliliter graduated cylinder, and beakers size 50 milliliters, 100 milliliters, and 600 milliliters. A plastic pipette will be helpful. Fill your 600 milliliter beaker with about 250 to 300 milliliters of distilled water and measure the temperature of the water. Obtain a quadruple beam balance and record the number. Next, the balance must be zeroed. If the pointer is below the zero, it means there is too much mass on the beam, so turn the screw away from you. If the pointer is above the zero, it means there is not enough mass on the beam, so turn the calibrating screw towards you. Adjust screw so the pointer is pointing to the zero or swinging equally above and below the zero. Once zeroed, weigh the clean, dry 100 milliliter beaker empty. Precision is important. Decide what angle to use for your pouring device and how long to hold it. Whatever you decide, do the same for all your measurements. Starting with the 50 milliliter beaker, pour distilled water to the 10 milliliter mark. Transfer water to 100 milliliter beaker and weigh on the balance. Repeat four more times measuring out 10 milliliters of water with the 50 ml beaker and transfer to the 100 milliliter beaker. You will add 10 milliliters each time instead of emptying and drying the 100 milliliter beaker. Reweigh after each 10 milliliter aliquot addition. You will fill out a data table like this one. After you have measured and weighed five 10 milliliter samples, empty the 100 milliliter beaker and dry. Weigh the empty dry beaker and record mass. Using a 10 milliliter graduated cylinder, add distilled water to the 10.0 milliliter mark. A disposable pipette may prove helpful so the meniscus curved surface of the water is touching the 10.0 milliliter mark. To avoid parallax, view the meniscus straight on, eye level. See figure 2, page 6 in handout. Once the graduated cylinder is filled to the 10.0 milliliter mark, transfer to the 100 milliliter beaker and weigh on the balance. Again, you and your partner should decide on how long to hold the 10 milliliter graduated cylinder upside down over the 100 milliliter beaker. Repeat four more times, measuring out 10 milliliters of water with the 10 milliliter graduated cylinder and transferring to the 100 milliliter beaker and weighing after each 10 milliliter aliquot addition. After you have measured and weighed five 10 milliliter samples, empty the 100 milliliter beaker and dry. Weigh the empty dry beaker and record mass. Set up ring stand and burette clamp. Align clamp parallel to the base of the ring stand. For stability, place the burette so it is over the base. 
fill burette with distilled water to the zero mark. Inspect the tip to be sure that there is no air in it. If there is air in the tip, open the burette to get rid of the air and fill the tip with water. Refill burette to the zero mark. Next, titrate in 10.0 milliliters of water directly into the 100 milliliter beaker. Practice using the stopcock by stopping at the 4.0 milliliter, 6.0 milliliter, and 8.0 milliliter marks on the burette so that you are confident that you can stop at the 10.0 milliliter mark. Remember parallax while reading the burette. At close to the 10 milliliter mark, you can reduce the flow to a slow drip. With practice, you can even get a half or quarter drop by stopping the flow with the drop partially formed. Touch the drop to the side of the beaker to get it off the tip. Weigh the 100 milliliter beaker with a 10.0 milliliter of water. Repeat by titrating the next 10 milliliter aliquot from the 10.0 milliliter to the 20.0 milliliter mark. Weigh the 100 milliliter beaker with the 20.0 milliliters of water. Keep repeating until the 50 milliliter mark is reached on the burette. Your completed data table will look something like this. You will need to convert the mass of water to the volume of water. The temperature of the water is needed because the density of water changes with temperature. With this data, you will be able to calculate percent error, standard deviation, and percent relative standard deviation. There are other measuring devices that may be available. An electronic balance has the tear function that lets you tell the balance that your empty dry beaker is zero. The weight of the beaker is automatically deducted from all your measurements. Pipettes are generally more accurate, but also require more skill. A measuring or graduated pipette has markings, much like a burette. And like a burette, you can transfer all or part of the liquid. A transfer pipette is meant to deliver a specific volume. It has a mark near the top. Fill it so that the bottom of the meniscus is on this line. A volumetric flask is similar to a transfer pipette in that it also has a mark for the desired volume. As always, the bottom of the meniscus should be on the mark. Your device may be marked TC for to contain or TD for to deliver. To deliver means that last drop of liquid is supposed to remain. You don't have to worry about it. You may occasionally use plastic. An interesting feature is that plastic like oil repels water. Because there is no adhesion, there is no meniscus. Plastic is usually marked TC, TD because it will deliver all it contains.